All right, we turn now to this. Protecting the protectors. It's an idea to help shield police officers, the brainchild of a state lawmaker from Dallas. And this one is gaining some traction at the Capitol. Our Jeff Paul tonight shares how a piece of equipment worn by cops could save lives. Officers don't often talk about it, but it's always in the back of their minds. The threat out there is real. The threat is increasing, and you have to be prepared. Sergeant Nick Christo with the DeSoto Police Department says the July 7th ambush changed everything. Nobody had ever seen anything like this where one shooter can take down that number of officers in a single incident. Armed with a large caliber rifle, Bristow says patrol officers and their standard equipment didn't stand a chance. It kind of brought home the fact that, you know, we are all vulnerable. State Senator Royce West wants to change that through heavy military like protective vests. And this is not a blue issue or a red issue, it's a Texan issue. West filed Senate Bill 12. It aims to set aside $25 million for a grant program to help equip patrol officers with gear normally reserved for SWAT and tactical units. Uh, they have to put their life on the line each and every day for us. And so we've got to make certain that we provide them the best possible uh, equipment. This is the standard vest most officers wear and is built to protect against handguns. Whereas this heavy vest is built to protect against rifle fire and has a plate right here to protect your vital organs. Sergeant Bristow says if his department landed the grant funding, patrol officers would likely keep them in their squad cars. He says it would be another tool at their disposal if and when a dangerous scenario arises again. It's going to save lives. It's going to save officers' lives. It's going to put the officers' families more at ease knowing that they've got this kind of protection out there. In DeSoto, I'm Jeff Paul, CBS 11 News. SB 12 passed the Senate unanimously. It now heads to the House, and this one already has the support of Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick.